I'm a little sick, so excuse my voice. Um, but this week, most of my time went towards working on the little write-up that I did for the lyrical parallels of Scissor's SOS album and Abra's Rose album, which is one of my favorite albums. A part of me wishes that I could explain why I did this, but it just came to me intuitively. And I'm just happy that I could create something that I'm proud of. My friend said something really nice about how I'm um, weaving the emotional fabric between these albums. And that's exactly how I felt. One of the tasks in the artist way asked about where my time went this week and to list the five major activities this week. And this was definitely one of them. This was the top activity. And that's really satisfying. I cannot wait to get a new laptop. I feel like it's blocking me from so much. My laptop just crashed. It crashes all the time. And when it's working, it gets hot immediately. And the fans just go on and on really loud. And it's just... I mean, my laptop has been broken for years. It's just hanging on by a thread. And I'm glad it still works, but I deserve better. So the clips you saw before, I wasn't sick. This literally is the next day, and I got sick throughout the night. Um, for my artist date, I did my makeup. And then for fun, I did my nails because I love doing my nails. It was really satisfying. And then after this clip, I share how the rest of my week went and how I concluded week two of The Artist Way. This is me in my rawest form. I am sick, but I'm really proud of myself that I was able to extend compassion and grace to myself. Um, for feeling behind on week two, but I just finished week two. I did my check-in. I did, I've been keeping up with my daily wellness checks. If I don't do nothing else, I do my wellness checks. I love my nails. Um, I put the video in here, but I end up changing some of the polish the next day. So this is how they look now. One of my piercings came out, which is typical, but this one, I love this. This is my favorite. These two nails is my favorite. I am a little ashy not too much not too much also um i'm hoping for my next all videos from now on will not be in this orientation i know it's not the standard vlog orientation nor the standard youtube orientation and i noticed that because of this orientation versus the landscape orientation my thumbnails are not showing up on the feed they only show up when you click on my channel i don't like that it's tacky and I put a lot of time and effort into my thumbnails. I actually was up till six in the morning on like Tuesday or something, editing all my thumbnails. So I need them to show up. This week was about recovering a sense of identity. A lot of the tasks seem to be about like doing what you wanna do, reminding yourself of your interests. It's pretty cool because, you know, when I was going to the co-focus sessions, in the beginning, they always ask, like, what are your creative passions and stuff? And I ended up making that little cloud sheet with my creative passions on it. That feels linked to this week two section. And therefore, it helped me be a lot more easily tapped in to my interests and to my identity and what I know is my authentic, like, imprint and personality. And, like, what's actually mine versus what I've been kind of condition to think I should do and stuff like that so that's all I gotta say see you well I won't see you you'll see me we see each other I see you we good okay we good I see you. we see each other we see each other we good let's move on all right week three next